Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 41 of our RimWorld Alpha 15 Sago Lago Let's Play. It is the 13th of summer, and when we left off the ponds of Sago Lago, we're facing another set of siegers, or sappers. There they are right there. A bunch of sappers running in. Kind of a, <clears throat> not really the strongest batch that we've had to face so far, I would say. I'm sure we've got three charge rifles that we got to worry about. And two frag grenades, so, you know, they may be able to punch a hole through the wall. Uh, but I am not too concerned. Um, we do have a, a little race here where we're trying to finish building this um, these uh, marble blocks here, but I don't think that's really going to be a problem. I guess one thing that we probably should be better prepared for is uh, fighting a... Um, oh, Ape is going to grab that, huh? I guess you're going to grab that steel mace. Uh, fighting some melee up here I, i'm not quite sure where these guys are going to go last time they actually last time they went for here and then i kind of came at them from behind so maybe i have the because uh, i have my good melee fighters over here uh i guess we're going to find out huh um yeah let's find out oh ape I mean, you're already halfway out there, but that is a bad decision. And uh, what are you guys doing, dummies? Don't go out that door. I mean, I guess I probably told you to go out that door, but still. I'm going to say that's a bad idea at this point. Um, let's see where they end up. Actually, stay, stay together with your friend there. Kai, why don't you come over here? Lando, you really shouldn't be holding the door open. You've got better things you could be doing. All right, so they're going to try to break through there, it looks like. So I'm going to have him go there. Actually, I'm not going to have him go there. I'll have combo go up there. White, you come stand behind him with your gun. Crow, you're fine where you are, I would say. It's too bad neither of these guys have personal shields, but nothing, nothing can be done there. I thought white had a personal shield. Did, did it already get blown through? It did. Well, that was fun. Oh, and combo still got hit. Right in the torso. Alright, what's going on down here? That guy's not acting very intelligently. Surprise, surprise. Why don't you go ahead and go in there? You two can change positions as well, I would say. Oh, now we're going to have some real danger here. But these guys are running to find cover, so they're just... Nope, he's not going to try to find cover anymore. He just fired off. There we... Oh, I cut you off too soon, huh? Trogo, why don't you come back inside? It looks dangerous. All right, Galga, I don't think you got hurt too badly. Nope, another gunshot to the torso. All right, you guys decide what you're going to do. That's fine. I'll just bring my guys back up here. As a matter of fact, I'm going to bring this one out too. There we go, good. Flee. Dummies. Well, that was uh, an almost embarrassingly easy siege. I feel like the game... Uh, well, they're going to get away. Um, yeah. yeah, that seemed too easy. Thanks, Cassandra. I, I don't mind having an easy go of it every once in a while. Let's unforbid all this stuff. Some more grenades, in case I want those. How do these guys have any uh, bionics on them? No bionics. No bionics. All right. Well, not gonna, not gonna waste any time with them. Let everybody get to, I guess, eating. And uh, this is a poor sniper rifle left over there, huh? Let these guys get healed up. Just a couple of torso shots. I'm not really worried about. Combo's already healed. So is Galga. Another self-tamed animal. We will put him on the uh, exterior. Hmm. 
Interesting that this grizzly bear who isn't trained or Oh, there we go. Okay, so this grizzly bear is trained. Why did I train them and not train them in uh, hauling or something? So I'm not... You know, the thing I want to avoid is uh, the animals forming a bond with anybody. Um, and I know somebody explained to me how bonds are formed, uh, but I can't seem to remember it. Is there, oh, there's a solar flare. Local squirrel has gone mad. Well, I'm not too worried about a squirrel. Um, so, you know, I don't want them to bond. But I... T uh, so I don't know whether I should be training them. Like, uh, Now, why do they keep going outside? Are they still operating under, like, that fantasy zone that I set up for them that one time? And I'm certain I deleted the... Uh, I was certain I deleted those. Huh. Alright, well, delete them again, I guess. I did figure out how I turned this on uh, during uh, a previous episode, and that was when I was unforbidding these corpses down here. I was just clicking and then hitting F, and so I clicked this and hit F and, and allowed sewing. So that's what happened there. Look at that! Devil Strand, oh, 64%. So we had that one Devil Strand. That was like the one survivor of the toxic fallout from like a year ago. Go ahead and close all these things out. Combo, is it a major break risk? Sorry, combo. It's because um, Alboyo dying, right? Yeah. So it's going to be about the end of winter by the time you're over with that. Maybe the middle of winter. Well, the eighth of winter, I guess. That's a long time. So we're just going to have to deal with it. But we've got you off of the uh, uh, work schedule where you have to work a lot. Hopefully that will help. So I think I'm going to do a tutorial on moods and uh, maybe break it down, try to do like two 10-minute tutorials. I don't know that I'm going to do one like in the middle of this episode or anything like I did with the with the uh, infestation tutorial. Um, but uh, I will probably use this episode as an example at some point. I wonder if I can turn this back on. Uh, I probably could if I clicked the correct button. And our wind uh, power just is not working out all that great. The wind seems to be really erratic. I guess I could build just more power generation in general. And, uh, you know, diversify. never an issue before in the past. I don't know why I'm making it an issue now. I might I might I might not have a lot of no I have plenty of components, right? Yeah, you know, I have plenty of components, I have plenty of steel. So there's really no reason for me to be reluctant to build more power sources. Fire starting spree, no problem. Even less of a problem since it's raining. Well, that's pretty lucky. Combo is a uh, pyromaniac, so there was a thread on Reddit uh, a couple of days ago about how somebody talked about how pyromaniacs are not that bad, and I would say this is a perfect example about how it's not so bad. Look at that. He had a, a spree uh, after having a mental break and it barely lasted any time, and it did no damage, and it distracted a couple of, a couple of uh, pawns from what they were doing, but uh, uh, like nothing, and like this is all wood walls, 
So there's plenty of stuff he could have set on, or he did set on fire, you know, but there was people right there to put it out. So I am of the, uh, I don't mind having psychopaths, or I mean, uh, I don't mind having a uh, pyromaniac or two in my colony. Um, you shouldn't have too many of them, and you definitely shouldn't have them at the very beginning in the earliest colonies. Uh, they can be a real disaster there. Um, but once uh, once you get to the point where you're doing all right, it's, they, yeah, they don't really cause too much of a problem, my experience, and they can even be a benefit. Or, well, maybe not a benefit. What is a, you know, where they're, uh, they're less of a liability. Yeah, I'm sure there's a word for that, but. I still have more bodies that need to be taken care of out here. I guess that's because they just died. But that hopefully will help feed our animals. That's minus 10%, so good. Bears are, I'd rather the bears eat the animals than the corn. Not much I can do about the dromedaries. I suppose it's too early to know whether she's pregnant. She could have the hidden, like they think the first trimester is hidden. It'd be a while before we get to that. Oh, look at that. We have idle pawns. Are they restricted? Oh, they're unrestricted. Means I, must mean I need to haul in some stone. Getting further and further radius for stone hauling. Got most of it cleared out from this section. That's kind of weird. Definitely have gone way out over here. There's some stone there that could use being hauled. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Cancel that. Um, that's what I meant. Whoop. That's what I meant to do. There we go. Let's repair those up, too. I'll make that part of my home area. It's going to be weird to have that little clean spot out there, but you know what? I should probably repair this wall as well. Glad I clicked on that. Forget about fixing up my home area. Click that wall section. I may as well put this whole thing in a home area. One of these days I'm going to want to replace the, the rock wall with a real wall, but I'm not too worried about that right now. That must have been something there. And we're going to include that. And let's include this. I probably should replace this wall as well because it looks like it's starting to get, starting to get worn down, so I am going to actually do that right now. We have plenty of stone. That's good news. And we're probably going to have even more now because I've got all my ponds hauling stone over there to be turned into more stone. So, um, I'm curious why nobody's planting this devil strand. Do I not have... I probably don't have a grower of high enough level. You have to be level 10 to plant devil strand, I guess. That's too bad. So we've got six, eight, eight. I'm going to take Tuboyo off for now and uh, let the other ones level up. They do have that as their highest priorities, right? Landoa is like training as a warden. We don't really have to spend a lot of time wardening. I haven't had any prisoners for a while. And Crow is, uh, that's his first priority. And of course, White has all sorts of other stuff going on. How are these guys doing as constructors? Yeah, I think I'm going to take them off because I might want to... Like, once I start harvesting this Devil Strand, I guess I probably should save it mostly for clothes. Do I have all my bills set up properly? So these should be... That should be for Devil Strand, Duster, and this is for regular Dusters? Yeah. So we have Devil Strand, Duster, 
This should be Devil Strand pants. Is this a Devil Strand shirt? It is, great. So the only thing we really need is a Devil Strand hat. Make a hat. Details, clear all. Devil Strand. That's good. Not quite sure how much we're gonna get out of this, so let's just make a few of each. So I must have Devil Strand shirt on there. There we go. Then we'll be able to scatter those around among the uh, among the pawns. Let's let them do it on their own. Still don't really understand how the clothing thing, like uh, auto assigns, you know, whether it uh, will. Um, like I don't think it will automatically pick up a better piece of clothing if there's one available compared to what you're wearing. I think once you pick something up, it will keep it on until it gets down to gets down to the the, the level thing where you have to take it off. I don't really know. But I think we probably have enough clothes now to where I can start like I can start setting minimums on uh, on their clothing requirements. So we're gonna try that. I think I need to do a minimum for this as well. Oh good, I already have that set for normal. So we could almost go to normal on our uh, clothing uh, clothing minimum based on all the uh, spare clothes we have around. But let's let's wait and see what happens. Make sure nobody ends up being half naked. All these guys are going to wake up and they're going to have to change their clothes. Uh, so I'm recording this very early today. Like I've only been up like 15 minutes, but I really wanted to play. Uh, so that's why my my uh, throat is really froggy. I'm uh, haven't even oh I did finish my first cup of coffee. So how much longer do I have to wait till I can go get my second cup of coffee for five minutes? Well, sorry me, you have to wait five minutes to go get a cup of coffee. <laughs> I mean it's only in my kitchen and everything, but I'm not just gonna like walk away from the game. It wouldn't take very long. I could probably get away with it. I could. Uh, 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 go get a cup of coffee and be like, wow, I had a, the longest sneeze ever and just muted it the whole time. That would be a really bad idea. I guess the game pauses when something bad happens. But So I wonder if I could get rid of, uh, you know, what would be the benefit of getting rid of these wall sections, right? S slightly speeding up pawns going through those doors. Well, Actually, dramatically speeding up pawns going through those doors, but slightly speeding up pawns in general. I just don't think it's worth it. We are going to move the battery away from the... Um, let's see, we have one there and one there. Maybe we could store one up here. I don't really have a quick place to connect it to up here so I could set that up how would I set that up though there's not really a I guess through there and then up through there that'll work and actually we should probably connect you as well is that whole thing uh, no of course it isn't So we'll just run it across like that. That's not that ugly. Considering that they're hanging around outside, probably not too concerned about ugliness. More cargo pods. What do those cargo pods have for us? Something useful. Oh, yeah. It's close, close to my base, so I will say it's useful, sure. Let you guys haul that stuff in. could uh, pretty easily put a third wall around my compound. This would be the only, so I guess I could run it from here to here and then up along here. And then uh, from uh, maybe along here, that would be really easy. Uh, 
over here, I guess I could just run it. I'd have to... Unlike that lake, I can't run it over the lake. I'm definitely not going to throw down uh, moisture evaporators to, to clear that out. And I don't want to enclose that lake inside it. So there's not really a point in building a second wall over here. Or third wall? Because I'd say this is our first wall. That's our second wall. Really, this is the first wall, but yeah. You know, I don't need to go over all that. Because I've run out of stuff to talk about while we're waiting here. Disappointed my kill lake didn't get to be used. Come on, that's the the town is named after this lake. Arrowhead Lake. Nobody's even going there. Jerks. How about I turn the overlay off at a point where it's actually beneficial, huh? Just watch these guys running around. During this slow period, they can get some work done. We're just going to have to hold our breath and not know what that double beep meant. And that means somebody's irritated, probably. Everybody's looking happy, though. Like from up here. I'm kind of excited about... Um, Uh-oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, okay. Oh, Squirrel is being attacked by Red Fox. Oh, no. Sorry, Squirrel 1. You were bitten to death. Hey, there's some uh, Muffalo. Let's hunt those Muffalo. Who do I have set for hunting? Good old Val. Why don't you go do that hunting, Val? Somebody else can research. Looks like we're getting close to halfway. Close. You know, hunting at night, probably not. Wow, still still managing to hit, though. 97% uh, chance of hitting. Oh, my gosh, Val. You're a crack shot. Pretty good for somebody who used to only have one eye. What's going on with Kai and Crow down here? Why are they no good? Well, you know what? I'm going to figure that out uh, in between episodes because it is time to put in a break. I hope you've enjoyed watching uh, this episode of the Saga Lago Let's Play. If you have, click the like button down below and uh, be sure to tell your friends to watch and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I do appreciate all you guys watching. Um, I, uh, you know, uh, it's my day off. Uh, so I posted extra videos, uh, which I like to do on my days off. Um, you'll have extra videos tomorrow as well. Um, uh, I really appreciate all you guys that watch these when they're brand new. So thank you. Uh, it's, I don't know if anybody ever reads the notes, uh, uh for these uh, videos. Um, but I usually put a little description of the, uh, action of what happens in each episode down there. And sometimes I am, um, funny. Uh, so, you know, those, if you don't read those, maybe take a look at those. I mean, like if you sit and watch the entire video and listen to this part at the end where I just ask you to subscribe and like the game's paused and you know nothing else is going to happen, then maybe you want to read those notes. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.